Hello everyone and sincerely welcome to the IT knowledge base channel. In this video lecture, I am going to demonstrate to you step by step how to configure a site to site and write your sites or branches to interconnect with multiple sites over an open VPN SSL TLS tunnel, which is the most secure and meets today's security standards and then verify an SSL TLS VPN tunnel using virtual tunnel interfaces. OpenVPN SSL TLS tunnel is the most secure and compliant with today's security standards. The purpose of making this video is the same how to enable or stream the VPN traffic, not only limited to between the head office, OpenVPN servers and branches, but the branches can also communicate and access each other resources and the traffic must go through the head office OpenVPN server. Among all of the PFSense software competitors, it is most often compared to OpenSense, it excels in terms of using an interface and usability. When it comes to documentation and online resources, PFSense software shines. Because of hardened BSD and more regular releases, OpenSense offers slightly improved security. OpenSense is an open source, easy to use and easy to build free BSD based firewall and routing platform. OpenSense includes most of the features available in expensive commercial firewalls and more in many cases. It brings a rich feature set of commercial offering with the benefits of open and verifiable sources. Just master to be ready in PFSense, OpenVPN and IPsec. If you are an innovative, you can also watch my earlier PFSense videos where I have already covered various side-to-side -side VPN configurations over OpenVPN and IPsec to establish a side-to-side -side VPN between your head office and branches. In part 1, I have discussed in very great detail how to configure PFSense, OpenVPN, side-to-side -side VPN in pair-to-pair -pair shared key mode. In part 2, continuation with the part 1 video lecture is that transitioning video where your existing OpenVPN site-to-site -site is running in the pair-to-pair -pair shared key mode and you would have to transition to the most secure. And in this video, you will see practically how to transition or convert your present pair-to-pair -pair shared key VPN into pair-to-pair -pair SSL TLS mode, which was super fast and easy, but certainly not very difficult if you follow along the accurate orders. And in this final part 3, I have shown you how to install and configure a side-to-side -side VPN over an IPsec VPN tunnel from the scratch. All these series are worth watching videos and you should go through all these. And this is an excelling gazing video where I have talked about not only with OpenVPN server but also how multiple branches can communicate securely over the SSL TLS tunnel with each other, what special configurations are involved and how to interconnect between the branches over the side-to-side -side VPN. And today I would like to discuss and show you how to connect OpenSense Firewall as an OpenVPN client situated in our site D. The procedure is identically the same but I would like to show you how to connect your OpenSense as an OpenVPN client with PFSense Firewall and establish a site-to-site -side VPN tunnel. All the video part series links have been provided in the description but mark my words after these mastering site-to-site -side VPN training series you will become a perfectionist and a completionist. I was simply inquisitive mind about creating a site-to-site -side VPN configuration series and particular fondness for demystifying the configuration of different types of VPN protocols for everyone. So you guys easily grasp all the required and essential configurations without any irritations and configure confidently in your PFSense firewall to protect and secure your infrastructure. Now let's understand the typical PFSense firewall network. We have four sites. Site A is our head office shown on our left side. Site B is on our top right. Site C is at our middle bottom right side. I have already established a side-to-side -side VPN over OpenVPN SSL TLS tunnel mode and it's working fine. But Site D is still not connected with the head office. And connecting to each branch is optional. And this is my purpose to show you how you could connect your newly configured site. I have already completed all the net networking part and just have to generate all the required certificate for our Site D. Then export and copy it to our Site D OpenSense firewall along with the certificate authority to establish an interconnection between the head office and Site D. Then verify the VPN tunnel from both sites, head office to branches and recurrence from branches to head office. If you like, you can also establish a tunnel between the sites or branches and of course it involves the necessary configuration in all three PFSense and one OpenSense firewall. I have already uploaded how to configure the site to multi-site VPN video. It worth the video, you should go and check this out. By default, OpenVPN server and OpenVPN client can communicate with each other without any questions and this is a standard behavior but traffic between the branches is delimited. In this video, I am using the most updated version of the PFSense firewall 2.7.2 and OpenSense 23.7 release. This is the most updated version at the time of this recording. 
All right, now let's start our work and we have to fast jump onto our head office PS Tense firewall to generate a certificate for our site D and then export the necessary certificates along with the certificate authority. Go to system, certificates in the authorities tab and export the certificate authority. Then click on the certificates tab to generate a certificate for site D. Click on the add button. Select the method, create an internal certificate, type the descriptive name, I would like to type client D, and the certificate authority is S2SCA. Common name client D, it's actually representing my site. Rest of the fields, leave it to default and press save. Now export the certificate and its private key. Now copy all these three files to your site D so we can import them into site D OpenSense firewall. I have configured the NAT or enable port forwarding on the WAN address to access my OpenSense firewall remotely situated at the client D. Now import the certificate authority first and then the site certificate with the private key. Go to system, click on trust. And in the authorities, import the certificate authority, click on add, type the descriptive name, client D, select the method, import an existing certificate authority. Now open the CF file in the notepad and copy its content in the certificate data file. And press save. Then click on the Certificates tab to import the certificate and its private key for Site D. Click on the Add button, select the method, import an existing certificate and type the description, Client D, and name should reflect the purpose of the certificate. Open the certificate file in the notepad and copy its content in the certificate data field. Repeat the same for the certificate private key. And press save. Alright, it looks perfect. In the head office PFSense, add the client specific override. Go to VPN, open VPN, click on client specific overrides and press the add button. Client specific overrides define custom settings that apply to only certain clients connecting to an SSL TLS server in the client server mode. These settings are determined by the way a connecting client authenticates either by their username or the common name of their certificate. Depending on the use cases, overrides may be a required part of the deployment such as site-to-site -side VPN with multiple clients connecting to a single server. The following settings are available when configuring client specific overrides. Description, type client D. Client D is my site D. Disable whether or not this override is enabled. When checked, the override is not active. Common name, this is the most important part of this setting. The name of the user, which OpenVPN will match when a client connects. When using SSL TLS authentication, alone this matches the common name field of the certificate. You should type the certificate command name here. I would type client D. Server list, select OpenVPN server. IP version 4 tunnel network, mine is 10.1.2.0 slash 29. IP version 4 remote networks, we are creating this client specific override for site D. So we will type here site D LAN network, which is 10.0.50.0 slash 24. Scroll all the way down and click on save. Let's swift over our final configuration on the OpenVPN server side. Go to VPN, OpenVPN. In the Servers tab, edit your VPN server setting. Make sure to add your branches LAN networks separated with a comma. In the IP version 4 remote networks, and I am intentionally wanted to establish an interconnection between the branches, so I must have to type here 10.0.50.0/24 for my site D. Scroll all the way down and click on Save.
We have completed the OpenVPN server side work and now switch over to our site D, OpenSense Firewall. Then click on VPN and then open VPN. Click on the client tab and press the add button. Here we will go with the default settings which looks more secure and appropriate except for a few. I will go with my insight for example, description is S2S HO, server mode pair to pair SSL TLS is fine, protocol UDP is fine, device mode tunnel looks fine, the interface should be your preferred WAN interface. For the remote server, host or address, you should provide your head office PSS firewall IP address, mine is 192.168.11.103, port is the default 1194 or maybe it's altered in your case. Now keep a scroll down as everything looks fine. TLS authentication, just disable this. We are not using TLS authentication right now. Pair certificate authority, choose your recently imported CA certificate. In the client certificate, select your site certificate. In my case, it's client D. The encryption algorithm should match your head office PSS OpenVPN server and I would prefer to change it to AES-256 GCM. Auth Digest Algorithm, SHA-256 bit is fine. Both of these settings should match with your head office PF10 open VPN server, IP version 4 tunnel network. This is necessary to establish a tunnel between the client and the server. And here I am going to use 10.1.2.0 slash 29 subnet IPv4 remote network we have three remote networks 10.0.20.0 slash 24 is for our head office LAN 10.0.30.0 slash 24 is our site B LAN and 10.0.40.0 slash 24 is for our site C LAN this is essential if you would like to establish a tunnel between the sites or branches you have to add all of your remote networks in the head office and all the branches PFSense and OpenSense firewall. You could also add here other remote networks if you have more. Now set the compression according to compliance with my head office PFSense OpenVPN server. I would prefer to go with legacy enabled LZ2 algorithm with adaptive compression. Scroll all the way down. Now click on save. Now verify the tunnel between this site and the head office. Click on the connection status. And it shows connected with the head office open VPN server. Click on the log file. Here I would dare to show you the default significant security deterrence. Pay attention to this warning. Compression for receiving enabled. Compression has been used in the past to break encryption. Sent packets are not compressed unless allow compression yes is also set. This is the OpenVPN recommended setting and you should not change it. There is a cyber attack called Voracle which captures upstream packets that have been compressed and can extract data from those packets. The setting mitigates the Voracle attack by not sending any packets upstream that have been compressed. Only downstream compression is allowed which is not vulnerable to this attack and sure enough you can see that a connection is established. Very next, don't forget to create an OpenVPN rule to flow the OpenVPN traffic. Go to firewalls. Rules and click on Open VPN tab. Click on the Add button. Select the Action Pass. The interface should select Open VPN. The direction of the traffic is set to in. TCP IP version, IP version 4 is fine. Protocol any is fine. Source and the destination are set to any is fine. Set the description of this rule. I would prefer to type Allow Open VPN. Now click on save and click on the apply button changes. Now test the connectivity between the head office and site D. Open the terminal and first check the local PC IP address. Type IP space A. I am using Linux Mint for the sake of the testing drive. At present, I am located at the head office PC right now and now initiating a ping. Type ping 10.0.50.10 and hit enter. We are getting a reply from the PC deputed in the site D. We also have to check our connection from site D. To test the connectivity between the head office and site D, open the terminal. 
and first check the local PC IP address type IPA. I am using Kali Linux for the sake of testing drives. At present, I am located at the site D PC right now and now initiating a ping type ping space 10.0.20.10 and hit enter. We are getting a reply from the PC deputed in the head office. Now let's do the trace path. Type trace route space tag n 10.0.20.10 and hit enter. And now you can see the traffic is flowing through our tunnel IP address. Our site D is up on the unified with the site to site VPNs and can access the resources from the head office to site D and conversely as well. Now jump on to our site V and site C PFSense firewall where we have to add the site D LAN network in the open VPN client setting. First in our site B PFSense firewall go to VPN Open VPN in the clients tab edit your VPN client setting. Make sure to add site D LAN network separated with a comma in the IP version 4 remote network field 10.0.50.0/24 this is all now scroll down and click on save repeat the same step in site c go to vpn click on open vpn in the client tab edit your open vpn client setting in the ip version 4 remote network field Add client D LAN network 10.0.50.0 24. That is all now. Scroll down and click on save. Now all sites should be able to access their resources and all the traffic flow over the head office open VPN server. You might face some delay due to network constraints or restraints. In this case, you have to wait for a few minutes so the firewall can add routes for newly added networks or restart the open VPN service. To forcefully change in effect. Now let's test the branch to branch connectivity at site D. Now initiate a ping type ping space 10.0.30.10 and hit enter. And we are getting a reply. Repeat the same. Initiate a ping to site C type ping space 10.0.40.10 and hit enter. This is my site C and we are getting a reply from the PC deputed in the site C office. Alright, that is all for the now. How to enable or stream the VPN traffic, not only limited to between the head office open VPN server and branches, but the branches can also communicate and access each other resources and the traffic must go through the head office open VPN server. If you want to see more or some training content, make sure you click that subscribe button. Click it so you don't miss it. Or if you have any issues or questions, you can reach out to me and I'd be happy to help you out. Thank you.